Thanks for tuning in to the children's message for this, the last Sunday in the church year. And I'm out here in the pasture behind the church and there's something I get to take care of today that's been bugging me for seven years. Seven years ago, it was November 17th, 2013, the tornado came through New Minden and it left a big mess and it blew a lot of shingles off of the church and lots of other stuff. You know what a mess it was. Well, one of the things that we were not able to clean up was this metal shingle right here. It was about 30 feet in the air in this elm tree. And every day I could see this shingle up in the tree from our kitchen window, right above the kitchen sink, look out the window. Here's the pasture, here's the tree, and here's the metal shingle. But look what's happened. The tree has come down. And just a few days ago, about the day of the tornado, actually, on the 17th, seven years later, this tree blew down. Um, it was built, or not built, it grew along the bank here of the, the branch in the pasture. And it must have been the wind and the fact that it wasn't anchored well, and it blew it down. So I'm finally able to remove, wait, wait. Finally able to remove the shingle from the tree. And it just goes to show you what goes up must come down. And the things that, well, the things that uh, grow, the things that man builds, uh, we put them up, but they all must come down. Just like the tornado brought such terrible destruction that day, just like the wind blew this tree down, just like now even this shingle won't be out here anymore for us to have to look at. Uh, it reminds us that the things of this world don't last. It's amazing this, this shingle stayed up there for seven years, but its time came to an end too. And the whole world as we know it's gonna to come to an end. And in 2 Peter chapter three, it talks about how everything in the creation is gonna be laid bare by fire. But we look forward to new heavens and a new earth, a whole new creation, the home of righteousness when Jesus returns. So everything will be right won't be any more destructive winds, won't be any more tornadoes, no more sickness or pain or sorrow or death, no more sin because it'll, it'll all be new. Behold, I make all things new, Jesus said. And that's what we look forward to with Jesus' return. And because he died for our sins and rose again, we don't have to be afraid of that destruction on the last day. We'll be safe, we'll be safe and sound with him and he'll bring us into that new creation. So let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks and praise that though everything in this world is gonna be destroyed, yet your promises will never fail and that you will one day return. We don't know when, but help us to be ready with faith in you. But one day you'll return and you'll bring the new creation, the new heavens and the new earth, the home of righteousness, the place where everything will be right forever. Keep us with you, Lord Jesus, until that day. And we pray in your name, amen. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of firewood here. God bless and keep you.